about 20 guys walking through the park a boat came across the ferris wheel you look and you ride it really mm, but what about the meter in your hands now you shoot his arm like a kid and fire right there it's not a day where i'm happy okay let's go we don't need the ferris wheel we looked at the beautiful scenery now let's go find the other lion you hummed he gently interlined his fingers with yours looking at your blushing face you look so beautiful you attempt to hide your smiling face but failed as he shuffled seeing you getting shy with every passing second after the ride your boat came out of the park heading towards the car suddenly phone started ringing oh lion one minute yeah sure i was waiting for him to hang up the call when i saw two girls were staring at my van in a dirty way which made my blood boil i mean how dare they can look at my man in this way my jealousy was taking over me so i decided, decided to tell them that he's lying yes make sure that the work to be done quickly will you come let's eat ice cream he said as i held on to his arm and pointed towards the ice cream stall he looked at me with shock as his cheeks tinted red which made him look so cute ah yeah yeah he shouted as we went to the ice cream stall he handed me my favorite ice cream and was holding his with other I couldn't control my laughter anymore as I blurted out laughing. He gave me a confused look with his dark pink shaded cheeks. I have never seen him in this condition because he always used to give serious look to me. Yeah, why are you laughing? Huh? Did I crack any fun serious joke to you? You continued laughing looking at him. Then he started wiping his face with his hand thinking there's an ice cream on his face. Because you're blushing so so hard. Is it because of me? Oh, my Mr. Cute Man. He pinched his cheek. What? Am I? He said, placing his hands on his cheek to calm his face. You turned your face to check those girls, but was not standing there anymore. Should we go now? Yeah, but to the hotel. I already messaged my friend that we won't be able to meet them today. You both reached at hotel after parking the car. You both started to walk to the entrance door. It was a bit silent but not awkward at all. Holding hands under the pretty sky, it felt like heaven. Mind wait, I brought something for you. He took out a beautiful pendant from his pocket. You smiled happily, observing how beautiful the pendant is. He made you wear it. Thank you, Jungkook, for this beautiful pendant. Don't thank me. I thought I would never feel this much happiness again in my life. Thank you so much, Ryan, for coming into my life and filling my bitter life with your sweetness. I love you, Ryan. I'm sorry for not confessing before we did it. Yeah, you hit him on his chest briefly as you giggled, seeing your shy face. I love you too, Jungkook. You both smiled, looking down as you interlined your lips. I woke up rubbing my eyes as the light was hitting my face, but was surprised as I didn't find Jungkook beside me. Jungkook, where is he? He got up from bed, checking the washroom and balcony, but he wasn't there. Which made you panic. Walking out of the room, he asked one of his personal staff about him. Excuse me, you know where is your master? Did he go somewhere? No ma'am, he is in that room. Okay, thank you. You're welcome ma'am. Entering the room, his wrath flashed as she observed Jungkook's back muscle flex as he did pull-ups. The sweat trickled down his yellow skin. His eyes traveled to the Jungkook's body who did his crunches. If only she could do this, she had her finger over those abs. What the? Her eyes widened as she felt a bit ashamed of herself and she felt so dumb. I mean, that time. Duty mining. That's what she felt about herself. She turned around to hurriedly walk back to the room when his hand snapped to the side of her. Her jaw dropped at the sight in front of her. Her face slowly turned red while her mind clouded with simple thought. His thighs were weak as she felt butterflies in her stomach. Lion? Jungkook called out as he observed her red face. What was she thinking? Oh, I, I, I was just leaving you. C continue. Her voice trembled as she tried to clear her honey mind. It didn't help the fact that he was fresh out of the shower with only gray sweats hanging low on his hips and neck chest with six pack abs for her. To drool over. Jungkook lips formed a smirk as he observed his wife obey his body. You got some drool over here, he taunted. As he sees his wife touching the corner of the mouth and blushing at getting caught, I did not drool. 
Mm, I do not mind it, sweetheart. I'm all yours to look at. Mm, maybe you could wipe up closer. His voice turned low and seducive as wine girl, glancing at him. She felt hot all over her body. If you want me to kiss you, you need to ask me, okay? Wine eyes were twirling at his remark. I don't want to kiss you, but I want to kiss you. He replied as his warm lips landed on her strawberry flavored soft lips. A uh, soft peck turned into intense deep kiss, and those of electricity showed through her body as she could feel her body tone responding to his touch. Her heart rate went and pulse pounding in her ears and kissing each other. She got slowly pinned against the wall. He placed a hand behind her head, making sure she didn't get hurt. He pulled her towards him, kissing her with intense emotions. His body went near her neck, giving soft kisses, and she nods off. Happened to my cheek? An innocent word, something the little woman with eyes of trembling had found out. Todor, Kosakalan. Yes, there may feel slight bits of it, but undeniable. Please put cute if present. Melted her heart instantly with a small touch with his little lips, wobbling as he approached his mother. What happened to my cheek, mama? He asked, his eyes filled with curiosity tugging at her heartstrings. Wine felt her heart squeeze with love as she looked at her baby. The journey of being a mother filled her with overwhelming joy. It's here, my cupcake. He turned at the voice behind him. You run towards him, hugging him tightly. I'm so happy finally you're back. Do you remember how much we both missed you? Sanko was on mission about eight months. He didn't tell you about his comeback as he couldn't contact you. Yes, I know. And I miss you both too. And... Sorry, love, that I couldn't inform you lately. He both parted, looking at how innocently your cute baby looking at both of you with his blue eyes. Happy birthday, my bantu. Dad is here, Limpik says as he pecks his cheeks. He picked her up and they started giggling. Wine had swelled with warmth as she looked at her husband and their beautiful child. I know you, she whispered, the eyes soft and as their love shining through. And I love you both, Mama and Dada. The baby exclaimed as they laughed. 